Hey guys, let's proceed with the problem on statistics. Here, what we are going to do? We are going to do the data analysis in this problem. So our problem says the ages of 10 students of a group are given below. You can see this table here. These ages are represented in the form of years and months. Now, the ages have been recorded in the form of years and months. So this one, the, this one experiment or one observation showing you that there is a person with the age 8 years and 6 months. There is second person with the age 9 years and 0 months. There is third person with the age 8 years and 4 months. Now what you need to find out based on this table. Here you need to find out what is the lowest age. Then you need to find out what is the highest age. And then you need to find out the range. So let's proceed with all these answer or explanation of all these questions. What you have to do in this problem so that you can easily find out lowest age, highest age. You will represent the data in ascending order. So I am using the same table but here the data represented in this table is in the ascending order. So you can see here this age is the lowest age and the age on your right hand side is the highest age. So this age which is the lowest age is 7 months and 8, 7 years and 8 months. So how will you define lowest age? Lowest age is 7 years and 8 months, 7 years and 8 months and when you need to represent this in months so what you'll do as you know that in a year there are 12 months so you'll multiply this 7 with the 12 and then you'll sum up with 8 to find out 92 months now how will you find out the highest stage as you know that in this ascending order the data or the observation on your right hand side extreme right hand side will be highest age which is 9 years and 3 months here, when you need to represent this age in months, so what you'll do, you'll multiply this year in 12 plus 3, that will give you 111. What I am doing here, I am just multiplying this with 12 and then adding it with 3 so that you can get 111 months. So that's what I am doing for the lowest age as well. Now you need to find out the range. How are you going to find out the range? You know that range is the difference of highest stage and lowest stage. So all those observations which is falling under highest stage and lowest age will give you the range of experiment. So here our range will be 19 months. So I really hope there should be no doubt. When you need to represent 19 months, you can write this as 1 year and 7 months. I will be taking more problems in the coming video lectures. Thank you.